Welcome to this tech tip showing how to remove post processors from an edge cam workstation. This cam setup is nearly ready for toolpath. Let's create a sequence. When we go to the list, notice the machines here and notice that I've not checked the show all machines option. That's intentional and that allows the list of machines to show CNC machines that have stroke limit ranges suitable for the current setup. We're going to use the prototrack post to begin with. At this point, the cam sequence is created. Now for sake of discussion, let's say that this is a machine tool that's no longer used for active new cam setups at our company. We still use it for some old work, but new work is being sent to different machining centers. What I want to do is I want to remove this post processor from the active list, but leave the actual post processor installed on the workstation. To do that, what we're gonna do is we're going to minimize edge cam go back to the launcher. Working from the applications area, we're going to go to Machine Manager. I'm going to go over to the milling list and I'm going to find the Prototrack post in this list where the information about this post processor capability has been added to the database. And all that I'm going to do is delete that post processor from the machine list. When I close that and go back to EdgeCam, if I start the file over again and go open that same part and go create a sequence, notice that now the prototrack post is not displayed when show all machines is unchecked. Now if I add that on, I can see the prototrack post. It is still installed on the computer and I can go through and find it. It's just not suggested by default because it's not an active post anymore. Let's explore how to fully remove the post processor from the machine. Before I do that, I want to mention about how posts are installed. I've opened the master post processor in Code Wizard, and you'll notice the compile button. When you compile a post processor, it takes the master post, it creates suitable files, and it puts them in the required folder for them to be available for use within the CAM software. Where is that folder? Going back to the launcher, we'll choose Settings, located in the application section. In Settings, we'll choose File Locations, which quickly identifies where important user files in the EdgeCam workstation are located. Code generators are where the compiled code generators or post processors are located. Those files have TCP, MCP, and WCP file extensions for turn, mill, and wire applications respectively. That's what's noted in the box. We're going to take the user cam Mac def location and right click and open that folder and this is where I'm going to find the prototrack post processor that I want to remove. So in here I'll look for the compiled post processor. There we go. We'll take those files and clean them out of here. We'll now close all of this stuff back down and let's return to edge cam. Notice that now when I go back to the part that without the cam sequence created yet and go to create the sequence that not only is the prototrack post not displayed in the active list because it's not in the database but now if I go to show all machines it's not even listed in this list at all. As a side note this also means that if you open a file that has been saved that's connected to that post processor you will have a warning as shown here. That post processor is invalid. Simply means the post isn't installed. The software can't find it. The software will allow you to pick a different post processor instead. So I'll choose the sample mill vertical inch post processor installed with the software. But the one initially used for this part is no longer available. Additional information is available in the M2 Technologies Tech Tip on removing unwanted post processors. The M2 blog site has many tech tips and training segments. Use the search option on the blog page with keywords remove post processor to locate this tech tip and additional information. Contact us by email or phone if you need additional assistance or have questions on CAM applications.